Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with a, another Dokkan Battle News video. Now, A, I know I've been slacking a little bit on my Dokkan News lately, and B, when I do cover Dokkan News, I usually don't cover event previews simply because, I mean, it is basically just pure speculation and we only have a couple of bit of details, but... I gotta say, I had to make a video about it this time because this is ridiculous what we are seeing here for Golden Week. As you can see, we just got the event announcement drop and that there is going to be a brand new Super Saiyan Kid Goku and a brand new Super Saiyan Vegeta. So what's very interesting about this here is that A, well, it's going to be GT themed, which is very interesting. So it makes sense from what we saw in the V jump that they're going to be starting to do some GT themed things rather than continuing on the trend of the movies. Now, while this is very exciting and we can kind of assume that these are both going to be Super Saiyan 4 related somehow definitely at least goku what's even crazier about this is that it looks like uh apparently i'm logging into the game that's what it looks like it looks like that we are actually also going to be getting this on global that's right global dokkan had the exact same notice go on at the exact same time as you can see here <laughs> finally someone worth the effort of putting down a new dokkan event is coming soon the saiyan who continues to pursue greater strength reign victorious in a fierce battle fought to reach the top coming soon then he you as you can see here, I'm tripping over this. I'm actually really excited. Goku here. I am perfectly willing to take you on. A new Dokkan event is coming soon. The Saiyan has unleashed his tremendous power. Reign victorious in a fierce battle fought to decide who's the strongest. Stay tuned. So this does seem like it is going to be a dual global and JP event, which is pretty insane if I do say so myself. I honestly cannot believe that that is actually the case um it also seems like the way that they are um doing this it seems like it is going to be a earth shaking showdown for both the only reason why i'm saying that um is because well with these guys a um it just kind of implies i suppose that with these two coming and especially with the goku event being here for what a legendary goku event there we go i'm sorry i couldn't remember the name of it um it kind of seems like that this might be the case that this is a goku and vegeta that does that right that released with the goku or not that released with the goku and frieza like the goku and frieza rather sorry i'm getting all mumbled up because i'm so excited right how goku and frieza represent every single one of the forms of goku and and Frieza and then we also have this case here where it seems like that this will be every single one of the forms for Goku and Vegeta from GT represented here so that would be really really cool if that does end up being the case I think that that would make this a lot more hype and it would honestly be really interesting to see if they would do that because I almost feel like that at this point if it's just a Super Saiyan Goku and a Super Saiyan Vegeta I don't know if that would necessarily be hype enough for them to be able to sell just because i feel like people you know are <laughs> far feel like we have you know enough of the super saiyan 4 units already but i feel like if we had that as the case where we had you know the full gt transformations i suppose you know there you go that's literally the perfect answer to that call and nonetheless i think think with Goku either kind of like updated art um being the case or just I think there might be maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering this but there's I'm pretty sure at least for Goku or Vegeta there's definitely one or two of the GT forms that aren't represented in Dokkan yet so either way for Goku's case right they're definitely going to need that if they're going to do the legendary Goku or event yes that is what it's called <laughs> I thought I messed it up again but I got it right that time so let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below it is very very interesting that we are getting 
getting a dual celebration for Golden Week. I really, really wonder what this is going to mean for the future of Global Dokkan, especially because this is making it a little bit even easier for Global to potentially catch up in the future if they do decide to go down that route. I don't know if that's necessarily what this means, but obviously this also means that because both versions are right, like releasing the same thing, then this isn't another Dokkan Fest that Global has to play catch up with, right? Because it's already released on the Global version. This is also a little bit an F, I will say, for the Global version, only because this is obviously going to make it a lot harder to save for the anniversary, that coming up in the summertime. So it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for the global gag i'm sure <laughs> yeah pretty crazy if i do say so myself but that's basically everything that i've got for you in terms of speculation i do think that i am going to make a community response video you probably just heard my computer go boop, boop, boop. sorry about that um you probably um are going to be seeing a community response tweet from me talking about how you feel about a joint golden week celebration so definitely keep an eye on the twitter account for that but that is going to do it for me. I'm not going to drag this video out for any longer because that's literally all that I had to say and all the speculation that I had. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I will catch you in the next one. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Dokkan Assets out. Peace.